Okay, so here we are in part two, and we have our lovely lady that we made there. So now I want to go through, uh, this is a fairly, you know, standard illustration sort of image. Uh, what if I wanted a drawing? So here I'll go, I'll go through the, the, the various ways you can, you can do that. First of all, uh, I would do a drawing Laura. So we'll put a, put a drawing Laura in. There's rather a good um, one came out recently called Portrait Sketches. We're not doing portraits, but it's uh, it, you know, a sketch portrait. And I've put that in quite high. And I don't think we're going to um, use any of um, any other Laura's. We might change our minds. But what I want to do first of all is to load this image or, or even the final image would be fine. So we choose file to upload. Uh, you go app. It'll be in your temp folder. That was the last one we made. I don't want the last one because because that was uh, that's the really huge one. No, no, that wasn't that one either. That one's got lines on it. Must be that one. That's the one. Okay. So I'm going to use that for image to image, but I need to change the image first because it's not appropriate for a drawing. So what? The way you get a drawing is uh, give it as much help as you possibly can. So I'll make that uh, to never, quickly. And there's another way of doing this, but we'll, we'll, do, both, we'll do both ways. So this is already a bit simpler, simplified. Um, we might make it even more simple. And we will take all the colour out of it. And we'll put that to zero. And I think we'll um, take the saturation down there as well. There we are, up to you black and white now. Might make a little bit blue, maybe. I quite like blue drawing. I used to draw with charisma colour blues. So we had, I want a little bit of residual colour. That's very nice. And to be a drawing, I probably want to uh, increase the contrast. Doing it the wrong one. <laughs> and uh, we want to increase the brightness, sorry. That'll be good, I think. That all looks plausible. And of course, we need to change our prompt. So. We'll duplicate that in case we want it later. And we no longer have an old painting. We have a blue pencil drawing on white paper. And uh, here we'll put in uh, cross hatching and I'll put in scribble. Actually, that one works well. Okay, so in order to get a style like that, it's quite difficult really. The Laura will help a lot, but you need to give it some help. So let's see if that's been enough. We might need to lower the guidance, but uh, we'll run that. Let's see what happens. Bring it up so we can see it appear. Okay, not great. So we're going to have to reduce the amount of change. Might just be a bad seed, actually. But this is what happens. Okay, so that's no good. So we need to go back up here and check. I usually find 80, 85 is a sweet spot. And we're just going to check, uh, was, was that just a, an unlucky seed? I should have done that first. There you go. That's quite nice, and you can see quite a dramatic change. And that's quite nice as well. Now, we can. why are we getting these colours? So, what we need to do is to go and look at our prompt. Because these colours are being prompted into a black and white image. So you see, it's a monochrome image. And these colours are occurring because of the prompting. So the drawn style is very nice indeed. But the, the colours are coming from the prompting. So, we can fix by going back in and removing all the colours. So that comes grey and that becomes white. The hair is just hair. And where was the... Ah, look at this, you see. And the copper pots become metal. Right, so we've only got one colour mentioned here, blue pencil. It's very easy to miss a colour. <laughs> that all looks good. Let's see if it worked. Let's cue it. There you go. We've lost, uh, we lost a good seed there. But, um, but we, now, we now have a, a more of a drawing. So what I'll probably do is add another Laura. So there's two drawing Lauras going. We'll do another seed. This is what I mean by bad seed. You see the hands very googly. And that, that will never get better. You, you, it will be a very uphill job. That one's a lot nicer, you see. See the hands are better and the face is better, etc. What I'm going to do is put another drawing Laura in. And I found generally that more drawing Laura's, several at, at, at a lower level, actually work better. So we'll put this one in at about 50, see what that does. And you can experiment with the weight of the Laura's, etc. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> and this is, this is what happens. 
We're doing another scene. And you, if you get a, a, a change, it's quite nice that, I quite like it, but it's not what I want. That's a bit better again. And that's much more interesting, I rather like that. Very nice. So we'll say, we'll say that's good enough for now. And what we'll do, we'll put it through the uh, layer stack, which we saw before. So I won't describe it again. It's just uh, a set of variations, three variations. And I pick the best bits. And I'll probably edit out me picking the best bits this time, because you saw it in the first video. Okay, so next to refine, we'll go here again, and I'm going to use, this time I'm going to use the model resize for a reason what we'll see, but we'll cue the scale. Okay, so now I can again uh, up the contrast, I can make it a bit cooler, that looks pretty good. Now, I want to add a bit more style, I want it a bit more drawn, it's not drawn enough for me. So to, in order to do that, we use this module here. Now this module, what we can do, we'll have the blue pencil drawing Laura here, and we'll have it pretty strong, we'll have it up to one. And what this does here is it turns off these Lauras back here, and if you go back, this is the clip before the Laura coming here, and the model from before the Laura. So these Lauras, and uh, I'm cutting these Lauras out of the equation. They're coming in here. See, they're colour coded. One's green, one's yellow. And then that goes into here, which is run by this Laura. And I need a new bit of conditioning. So, my new bit of conditioning here is um, so absolute minimum on her and a novel about the paint, about the style. Okay? So, this text is coming down here. And again, I say you click it white, that's coming from that text. And what I'm going to do is mix the um, prompt. The original prompt is coming in here, and I'm mixing the very drawy prompt in. So I will put it at 50. It won't be. Okay, and then we'll run the refine with those settings. But we need to plumb in our new conditioning. So, new conditioning, running in there. New model. So this is, these are the model. See, black. That, that should be uh, yellow, actually. I'll do that now. There we go. So they're plumbed in to our refine here. Okay, so that's plumbed into our refine. And then we'll run the refine and see what happens. What do you reckon? <laughs> well, looks good. Just check we're getting the uh, image from the right place. We are. It almost certainly needs to be a greater change. Yeah, 45 is not enough. Okay, that didn't really have the effect I wanted, as I said. <coughs> the uh, change is not enough. So we'll put the change up to 70 and run that again. See what happens. Well, that's a little bit closer, isn't it? So I've added two drawing Laura's now. We'll just see um, how the seeds are going, but it's much, much more drawn now. So that was two layers of styling. Ideally, I would now go back and I would try and make my input image here that I did initially a little more pale. So I don't think this one was drawing enough that's the way. And there we have it. That's much, much nicer in every single way. Okay, so um, what we'll do is now send that on. So I, I quite frequently do this, which is, oh my God, it's not working. I have to go back and uh, take another route. So <coughs> I'm not going to bother with the layer stack this time because everything looked good. So we're taking the image directly from the first. That's what these switches are for. And then we check that the settings here might be over the top now. So I want to adjust this until I, I like um, how it is really. And then we can run that again. And there we go, that's even nicer. We've got good hands, good face, very nice drawing style. There we go. Now what we could do is a bit of an experiment. Because uh, I've got quite a few painting lawyers, I could use one of my own which is called Inks from my hair. Yeah, Inks version two. And we'll see what that does. That is already pretty good. It, you know, Flux is very reluctant to do drawings. It makes quite a nice illustration. There we go, slightly different style, but very nice as well. And you can try upping the Laura strength. It, uh, it, you can get quite nice variations. And there we go. I think, uh, I think that's as good as it will go. That's fine. Um, now we could, <laughs> To make life really complicated, what I could do is go back here, right at the beginning, and load that and go round the roundabout again. 
check I've got everything turned off back here. Let's see what that looks like in this. Now I probably don't need to make the adjustments I did here. Um, so I want to go from this one here, click it, follow the white line, there you go. Okay, so what's that going to do? So that's gone round the houses and now it's going round again. The image has changed enough that the same seed probably doesn't matter. The result might be horrible, you never know. And there we go. I quite like that. Turn another seed. So essentially what we've done is make, a, make an input image and then we can go back and we can create endless variations basically. And now that's gone very nice. Look at that. So you see the, the, the route to getting a, a nice image um, of the kind you want. Uh, it, you have to be persistent. She's got rather over large size. Flux so much like some enormous boobs. I should have to make a Laura, a boob banishing Laura. And now, as you see, that input we've got in there is doing very nice things there. I have to change the prompt and put in slim. And again, I would click through a few seeds, see if we get one I really like. That's quite nice. Okay, we'll run that one on, see what happens to it. So you can see by feeding uh, the image back and then putting it through the process again, you can really control what's going on. And this should, should, this should produce a, 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 a different image variation in finish. There we go. Even more drawn. I rather like that. That's great. Nice lighting and everything. Okay, so that's the end of part two. There will be a part three, I'm afraid. I didn't intend there to be a part three. But in uh, with a certain event, I still have some things to cover. Namely, you can skip these if you don't want to do them. There's Redux. Uh, or, or, or if you're in SDXL, you can put a put a um, IP adapter in there, or or a control net, or whatever, really. And uh, what we'll do next is look at this and the effect this has runs right the way through. So that can probably be a part in it. Okay, thanks for your attention yet again, and I hope that was useful. This isn't really a beginner's video; uh, it's quite advanced. So um, I'm assuming you know how to use Comfy, you know how to join up the noodles and this is just a, a slightly more advanced and complex way of using the notes. Okay, thank you. That's the lot.